One thing. I did not ask you to come up with some aspect of your vision that your partner would be inspired by. I did not ask you to come up with some aspect of your vision that they would connect to. I didn't ask you to do anything vis-a-vis -vis your partner. I just said, talk about your vision. This is not a trivial point. In fact, I would say this is one of the most important points to appreciate. When we are really ourselves, when we really connect with who we are and what we care about, and we have the confidence and the support to be forthright and honest, we find each other. We discover the, the innate, deep commonality in our aspirations. Carl Rogers once said this very beautifully, the uh, American psychologist, psychologist, he said, that which is most, most personal, that which is most personal, is most universal. That which is most personal, is most universal. If that were not the case, there would be no shared visions. <coughs> when you really understand that, you get the, the foundation, the deep underpinning of shared visions. Now, building shared visions involves more than just this. But it always comes back to this. So I can't tell you how many times I've seen so much money, time, energy, aspiration, wasted by people trying to create a shared vision. And I just say, let the people talk to each other. Let them reflect on what matters to them. You know, you're kind of over here, busy trying to build a shared vision, and turning your back on the very thing that will lead to shared visions which is create an environment where people can be continually reflecting on what matters to them and be in conversations where they can connect with each other. And you will start to discover elements of the shared vision. Again, there's more to do, but it's sort of like we try to build a house, but we build no foundation. This is the foundation. If you understand that, you'll get good at building houses.